pass something along. I see a lot of videos on YouTube about eating thistle, and a lot of people know that thistle is edible. But I wanted to show you all a little trick, or a tip, should I say. One thing to look for, I'm not going to tell you quite yet. We're going to harvest two thistles, two different ones, and we're going to let Dirt Man taste them. And we're going to show you all a good tip. So this one here, number one, is it's got white in the center of the stem, in the center of the leaves. The leaves are smaller. It's got a lot more pricks. And the stem is green all the way down. Green and white. The basic, the base two colors for the stem and the leaves. So. Alright. This is gonna be number one. Y'all remember that? Number one, it's all green and white, the only two colors. And get all that before somebody gets stabbed. All right, let's go find another one. All right, this, the second type. I don't know if this is a different strain of thistle. I'm not a scientist or a whatever people are that study plants, a botanist maybe. But the second one, number two, see how this stalk is purple? Looks the same, pretty similar. The leaves might be a little fatter. But they got a purple tint to the stalk, and they also got a purple on the inside of the leaf. That stem on the inside of the leaf, uh, where it was white on the other one, it's purple here. But we're not going to harvest the purple one. We're going to come over here to this one. It's got more of a purple tint. Y'all can see it's got a purple tint to it. It's like it's kind of turning purple. So this is going to be number two. We're going to have number one and number two. And then we're going to do a taste test. Dirt Man's going to do a blind taste test. It's going to be exhibit A, exhibit B, and then we're going to tell you the tip. So the first thing you're going to do after you harvest it and cut all your thorns off is get that first layer off. Some people will take it and cut into it a little bit and pull it up. You can do that. I find that it's quicker if you can kind of eyeball it, just scrape it off. Can you keep your blade flat like that? Yeah, keep it, you're keeping it pretty much uh, perpendicular to the stalk and you're just skimming it like that, skimming it off. I'm gonna do the same thing on this purple one. Maybe you can see a little better what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, this is uh, option B. We're going to taste option B. You're not supposed to tell me which one. You don't know what B is. Two. You don't know that. I think the salt taste came from your finger. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like it's got plenty of nutrients in it, vitamins, whatever. I, I mean, something in it that's, it don't taste bad. It, ta it tastes pretty good. If I had any kind of judgment, I'd say option B does have a little bitterness to it, more than A, more than A, because it, it really is about the same, but it lasts longer on option B. What lasts longer? The bitterness of it. I can, I can taste it, it lasts a hair longer. Yeah. And I chewed them both at the same time. Yeah, that's what I find, and it may be personal preference. A lot has to do too with what kind of soil it grows in. Yeah. Uh, what kind of fertilizer it has? Uh, it may sound a little absurd, but uh, I had a thistle one time in a horse pasture, and it tastes like sugar cane. It was so sweet. It was. It was good. <laughs> it was yeah. delicious. But uh, overall, I just wanted to show that uh, if you're going to eat one, try to find one that's green. It's got a green stalk, green leaves. They find that I find that they have uh, I think your water content's a little higher, and uh, sometimes like their, the stalk will be thicker. Not necessarily the overall diameter, but the inside wall will be thicker. And to me, they taste better. A lot of times I find the purple has a, just a little bit of a bitter and a more stringy dry taste. So, like I said, I don't know, I'm not a botanist. I don't know if it's a different strain of this or what, but if you're gonna eat it or you're looking to eat it or you wanna try it or you didn't know you could eat it, uh, you got one growing in the yard or something, try to find you one that's 
got a green stalk versus a purple stalk. Yeah. And that's it. Why did that sound so hollow? Hey y'all, if you are enjoying the outdoor content, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help us out. As soon as turkey season is over, we have some fishing trips planned and our subscriber giveaway coming up real soon. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.